I cannot afford to live in this place myself, people. Plus, I don't want to be here. There is nothing for me here in New England when I don't have my mother, my God. And on top of all of that, my mom made verbal promises to me regarding money she does not need. Okay? Verbal promises to me. I'm not going to be sit here and be their puppet. I'm not going to sit here while my aunt and my mom together screw me over. Fuck that shit. My mom made verbal promises to me. Regarding the money in the bank. And regarding paying, paying for Omar's $5,000 cataract surgery. This is a joke. There's nothing for me here. I hate it here. That's what you don't understand. If you say anything to me, to the contrary, I don't want to be here. Jesus fucking Christ. There's nothing here for me. I'm going to have a fucking breakdown. I said, no guilt. She can try to sue me. If she really wants to go that far, just, you know, that'll be, like, whatever. A final blow. <laughs> She'd have to find me first. Nothing for me here. I hate it here. I don't have my mother anymore. I'm not going to fucking be their puppet. Jesus. Oh, my God. I can't even believe this. She wants to move in with Auntie, she, and she wants to keep her house. She'll have to pay the rent on the house. I am not staying here with their puppet. For, so they can try out a little experiment that will probably not work out. I know what I've seen. Dementia doesn't get better. It only gets worse. And you can I do believe, there's a lot of people who believe, you can halt it. You, there are people that believe you can reverse it. But it, you believe me. A healthy lifestyle, which my mom is no longer interested in, in engaging in, no longer interested in, in a healthy lifestyle. Okay? Will help you combat the toxins of those psych meds. And I told you, in the alternative camp, they truly believe that 90% of all dementia cases are attributed to pharmaceutical use. As in, pharmaceuticals cause dementia. And even the traditional camp, it has a more conservative estimate of 30%. Like John Barron said, 30% of all dementia cases, and again, the alternative world says that's a bunch of hooey, it's far greater is a lot of people.
that are being completely messed up by all the drugs they have to take. Or think they have to take. There is nothing for me here. My mom made verbal promises to me, people. I have no guilt. No guilt. I'm going to save myself. <sighs> my neighbor friend told me she'd see do the same goddamn thing in a heartbeat if she was in my shoes. I'm going to save myself and auntie can take over and, and watch my mom probably die. Die or slowly decline and auntie will be the one that will have to put my mom in a nursing home. And I'll never know. There is nothing for me here. On my income, I have my only option is to live in someone's place. You know, like I was going to do before, all included for like five or six hundred a month. can't afford this place. Auntie doesn't care about that though. Auntie just calls me a selfish bitch. Good, I'm a selfish bitch. Go to, go to fucking hell, Auntie. You and my mom who don't no longer loves me, both of you deserve each other. Go to fucking hell. I'm not even going to be your puppet. I'm hanging on by a string. I am not going to be their puppet. And again, don't care. No guilt. My mom made verbal promises to me. I can guarantee you now that she's joining forces with her sister against me or whatnot. She wouldn't give one flying fuck about keeping those verbal promises. not going to be their fucking puppet or their pet or their good little girl. Well, Andy tries out an experiment. I don't want to be here. Jesus! There is nothing here for me in New England, period. I hate it. Because I understand, I can't afford this place. The only option is what I was going to do before. What I was doing with Bobby. All included. Cable, heat, electricity, computer, everything. For 600 a month. And I can actually find 500 a month. If, you know what I mean? And I can see if I can move somewhere where things are cheaper. Auntie can go to fucking hell. She ripped me apart when I expressed reservations, when I simply said, it wouldn't it make more sense for my mom to sell her home? And then just pay you indefinitely until such time as she inevitably, you have to put her in a nursing home. Your mom's not ready to sell her home, Laura. Why can't you just do this? Why can't you think of someone else besides yourself for a change? You, um, 
what, this is a win-win sitting you, no, that's what she says to me when I'm, I'm not just jumping for joy at this new arrangement here. Why can't you think, you know, your mom doesn't want to sell her home. We just want to take day by day. Why are you being so negative? Jesus fucking Christ. Does this nightmare ever end, people? And yes, those were Auntie's exact words when I didn't jump for joy at what she was proposing. Because in her eyes, I'm supposed to never matter. That's what I what I wrote in that that text to her. As usual, this you only think this is a win-win situation because as usual, you expect me to be a robot. My mom's rejecting me. She doesn't fucking love me anymore. I'm not fucking staying in her house and paying all the bills that I can't afford. I don't want to be here. Jesus. I wouldn't do it. Again, my mom made verbal promises to me. They'll fucking screw me over. There's no guarantee it will work out. My mom, you know, I think that doesn't know how that will be. My mom lived in Auntie's apartment a million years ago. Because when I had to drop out of college, I, I stayed there for eight months until I, you know, made money. I worked in a friggin' deli 40 hours a week. Remember, I had to drop out of college because my dad and his girlfriend got married, and now they weren't just looking at my dad's income, and they, I didn't get financial aid. I did what I had to do. I dropped out of college. I lived in the, But, Auntie, my mom is not that anymore. My mom is definitely showing signs of dementia. Dementia does not get better. It gets worse. She was showing signs of dementia back in 2014. But, again, we were eating so healthy, and the people in the alternative camp, I, I ordered a book, really believe that you can reverse it, you can, can, you can at least halt its progress. You can't just not even drink fluids because you don't want to pee. My mom went all goddamn day. Believe me, I would set up water for her, and I'd come home and she hadn't drank it if I had to leave for the day. But I would have been happy if she was even drinking coffee. Coffee does as a di diuretic, but at least you're still getting all that water in the coffee cup. You get it? She doesn't want to drink anything. I'm not thirsty. She can't grasp the concept you lose your sense of thirst at her age. If you wait till you're thirsty, you are dehydrated. This was the only thing I got in her case about. I'm trying to save her. She's on a shitload of psych meds. They stress it in all the things, the warnings. It says, drink plenty of fluids, drink plenty of fluids. She wasn't drinking even remotely enough. She only wanted to drink if she was thirsty. She hated me for telling her to drink. She didn't want to pee. I was catering to her every whim, people. catering to her every whim. Even after she said she hated me and has hated me her whole life, I continued to cook all her all the dinners and you know, I catered to her every whim. It killed me to call nine one one. I was genuinely afraid for her. And this is what my reward is? She's going to move in with her sister and turn back and reject me. I don't even get to know her condition while she's locked up in the fucking nut house. And her sister can sit there because her sister hates me and badmouth me and tell her and me that I caused all my mom's breakdowns. My mom should have fucking aborted me. I am not staying here as their fucking puppet.